Hi everyone, it's great to be here. So we're just gonna get straight into a demo. If you can go to the, uh, if you go to babbleverse.com slash leweb with your laptop or your smartphone and uh, follow the instructions. I'm just gonna go over to the judges and make it easier for them, so don't worry. Okay, so, bonjour, yasas, hola, hello. My name is Joseph and I'm co-founder of Bubbleverse. It's great to be here to launch our startup at the web. We're very honored. Bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Mayel. Je suis français, mais c'est vrai que j'habite souvent dans des pays différents. Et à chaque fois, je rencontre des problèmes pour communiquer à cause de la langue. Ça m'est arrivé lors de conférences comme celle-ci, où il n'y a pas d'interprétation euh, de prévu. Ça m'arrive aussi lors de réunions d'affaires ou dans la vie de tous les jours. So, so, I didn't understand any of that. My French is not very good, so uh, I'm not sure if anyone else got that, but. What you just experienced there was uh, Bubbleverse in action. Uh, actually, we had an interpreter, in, a Canadian interpreter based in South America interpreting for us remotely right now. So Bubbleverse is the first application for real-time interpretation. It's available on any device and any language. We support almost 7,000 languages on this planet and hopefully eventually more in other planets. So, uh, Bubbleverse, sorry. Bubbleverse is uh, human powered. Machine translation is not reliable. And uh, uh, the, the thing is with humans, humans uh, preserve quality, emotion, tone, cultural uh, relevance, the context. And no algorithm, no machine algorithm can do that right now. Time. Okay. So, Bubbleverse is a community. Bubbleverse works with multilingual speakers all over the world who can offer their time to help other members of the community with casual conversations uh, for free at first. And they will build up their rating uh, through uh, doing that. And little by little, they will level up and be able then to earn money for the interpretation skills that they provide. Uh, we will also have professional interpreters on the platform who will make available their services to those who want. So how do you actually use it? It's very simple. You connect to our website or with our mobile app. Uh, you make a request for an interpreter. And then you are able to connect through Skype, through your browser, through uh, even uh, a local phone number in case you don't have internet. And you get an interpreter on the line. On the interpreter side, they can define their availability. Uh, which time, time slots they're usually available. And we use an algorithm when you make a request to match you up with a list of a few interpreters who match you the best. For example, taking into account your accent or which topic you will speak about. And we send out push notifications to those few translators who are matched up. And uh, the first one to answer the call will uh, provide the service to you. So one of the first proofs of of concepts that we did earlier this year was for the Japanese tsunami. We uh, allowed, uh, we did an all-night coding session and we set up an application which allowed people to support the crisis from afar with their language skills. So they could uh, interpret between English to Japanese for NGOs, foreign aid teams, and uh, people on the ground in Japan. And we had over 150 people uh, volunteer their skills, and we were, we were, uh, we had a fantastic response and very humbled by it. So Bubble versus markets. We have, we have three markets. Today at the web, we're launching the conference and events service uh, for large or small conferences. Uh, they will be, now be able to obtain interpretation in any of our, our languages. Going forward, we want this to be, our vision is this is gonna be 
an interpreter in your pocket. Think of it like an interpreter in your pocket. And then moving on, public services, so on. But ultimately, we'll, third parties will make applications and uh, things they think of on our platform. With Babelverse, we want to be as disruptive as we can. Uh, traditional interpretation today is not accessible to many people. We want to bring this cost down to the price of a mobile phone call so that anybody can have access to this. But we also want to av avoid a bid to the bottom in terms of quality and price, which is often the case in online marketplaces. Uh, that's what we have seen. So that's why we will set the rates according to uh, multiple parameters. And in any case, the interpreters will always get 70% of the per minute cost. Okay. So we started in Athens in Greece in a small event. And since then, we're now in Chile bootstrapping as part of Startup Chile program. Uh, yep. So with Babelverse, we think that we have something that really stands out. And we hope that you all will agree. Uh, we aim to do to the language barriers what the airplane did to geographical barriers. We really want to have a revolution in communication. Uh, today we're looking uh, for companies in the event and conference space uh, to partner with. We're also uh, open to, uh, if anybody has figured out the problem of uh, reliable Wi-Fi in conferences, we want to talk to them. Uh, okay. So thank you very much. Gracias. Efelesto, Poli, and uh, merci beaucoup. Thank you. Why don't you gentlemen join me now? You've done the easy part, which is a six minute demo. Now, the real hard part the five minute or four and a half minute grilling from our judges. Uh, wanted to, Carlos, you want to start? So, how do I know the quality of the translators? How do I set up that? Why don't you try that mic, Greg? Hello? Yeah, okay. Can, sorry, can you repeat the question? Yes. <laughs> so how do I know the quality of the translation? So how do you, because if I hire a professional translator, I know what to expect from. But if I get it on the web and some, mm -hmm. someone shows up there, how do I know the quality of the translation I'm going to get? Yeah, so we're going to have three levels. We're going to have professionals, which are accredited professionals. And we're going to have three groups. So we're going to have multilingual speakers. Uh, and, and they're going to get rated by the users over time. And they build themselves up to semi-professional, then professional. And, uh, but we'll always have a poll of high quality interpreters available, but there'll be the chance for other, other speakers, other multilingual speakers to build their way up on our platform and become paid interpreters with uh, user ratings and, you know, that's it. Yeah. Do you think there's an opportunity for, uh, for more micro interpretation? So I have a kid with very severe allergies. I go to a foreign country. And I always want to have a conversation with the, with the server that, oh, he's, he, he's allergic to X, Y, and Z. Is there, are, are you thinking at all about that or translate this menu or whatever uh, so that so you can get to volume transactions for, for folks? Yes, uh, that's exactly what our vision is. It's really that at any time you can get an interpreter, even if it's just for a 30 second uh, conversation. Uh, we want to build a community that is large enough so that uh, in any time zone, there's always people who will be available uh, to provide this service to you. Yeah. And uh, the translator, even if they earn just a few cents every time, uh, they, w w with enough volume, they can build it up. And also, the, the money they earn, they earn as credits, which they can use when they want to use the service. So it's like an internal currency as well. And David, do you think it'd be worth 50 cents to avoid an errant pine nut? Chris knows. I've, I've been in the hospital over this, so you, you bet. Excellent. Emmy? So uh, where are you guys from? OK. Uh, actually, I'm from London. I'm English. So and, yeah. and I'm French. French. And where is the company? Is here? Uh, the company was actually started in Greece a year ago. In Greece? Yes, a because true multinational company. we were living there. And uh, right now, we're based in Chile, because we're participating in a startup Chile program, so, which is a government incubator. Well, that's very cool. First of all, congratulations. I really like the, the, the demo. And you've been working on this for, what, a year, you say? Yeah, about uh, six months full time. Very, very interesting. And you know, this is one of, I think this is one of those things that probably could not come out of the States. This is very, uh, has a multicultural, multinational kind of concept to it. So I think it's very nice to see. Uh, do you envision this as a marketplace for translator? Is this the focus or is it more of a, I'm going to have a, a mobile app in my hand and 
more towards what David asked before. Where do you see it really ending up once you've finished the, the rollout? Yeah, we see it uh, somewhere in between the marketplace and the app. We see it more as a platform. So there is a marketplace aspect to it, but which is a controlled marketplace. It's not like uh, the interpreters set their rates and people make, send them a request and they accept it or not. It has to be as instant as possible. So it's uh, like an automated marketplace packaged as an app, uh, but that we also want to make available to other people to build their own apps uh, on it. Very Gary, cool. Gary will give you the um, last question. I have a boring question. Um, how do you see yourself making money? Yeah. So we, uh, well, we have a business model, and we're going to focus on, at the moment, for the first launch, we're going to focus on conferences. So conferences will actually pay us a package, and then we'll supply, uh, we'll supply the uh, interpretation in different languages, and we've, we give them the chance to have more language pairs for their conference, and which allows them to have their conference broadcast to a wider audience around the world. So initially, it's going to be like this. But as we grow the community, it's going to be we're going to we're going to grow with uh, people paying a similar, say, to a Skype thing. They're going to pay for listening credit, and then maybe that credit uh, they will use that credit, and that, and then we will earn money like this, or we will work with telecom providers and you know provide through their tariffs or through their price plans, bubble versus time. Have you, have you thought about going to someone like uh, Telefonica and trying to get a, a premium rate? I mean, you could do it on fixed numbers as well, but a premium rate number from a mobile that someone could just dial, dial the number and, uh, and, and get a real-time real service well, and pay in real time? Yeah, I understand. Actually, it is in real time, and we do have, and we can offer local numbers. In France today, we have a French local number, so it's not even a premium rate number. We can provide that, but then we can because of the quality or we can provide different uh, interpreters that have different uh, specialities, we can then put a, a, a premium on that instead of you know, premium phone calls, which is old fashioned. So, yeah, but where, yeah. Where, where, I guess where I'm coming from is suggesting that you know, if, if you take David's idea where you know, you're in a hospital or at a pharmacy or uh -huh. uh, something like that, you want to, to be able to get a translation in real time. Okay. You know, if you have it on a, a premium rate number, the user doesn't have to worry about any of their credit card details or anything like that. They just pay as they go. And that's, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's, I, a, I, no, that's a, a sort of a zero understand. touch cost model for you. I understand. And it's, it's yeah, it's a, in fact, we are, we're in the uh, Telefonica building in Chile, so maybe we should speak to them. And so, last, yeah. just one quick question. We actually don't have time for the question, right. I apologize. But so, you're in, Gary. But uh, you will be able to see all of the companies out uh, in the pavilion as well. Gentlemen, thank you very much, okay. and thank congratulations you. on thank your you. launch. Thank you.